Hi guys. Welcome to our channel Celebs Flame. First of all we want to thank you for all your great support and enthusiasm in your comments. We really appreciate your feedback and would like to ask you for some more content you'd like to see to make it as much enjoyable as possible. Thank you. And now, in this video today we'll be going through the cast of True Lies Then and Now. So let's get started. It's hard to believe it's been 28 years since director James Cameron and actor Arnold Schwarzenegger last got together to blow things up and make movie magic. They sure don't make action movies like True Lies anymore. True Lies is a remake of a 1991 French comedy called La Totale. The film was the basis for director James Cameron's for his action comedy True Lies. While its budget may pale in comparison to current blockbusters, True Lies set a record by being the first movie with a production budget over $100 million. This movie is the only Cameron film to be nominated for the Academy Award for Best Visual Effects, but not win. A sequel almost happened in the early 2000s. A script was completed and Cameron and the original cast were slated to return, but Cameron's enthusiasm waned following the 9-11 terror attacks. Can you imagine True Lies without Jamie Lee Curtis? It's absurd to even try. Outrageous as it may sound, she wasn't actually the first choice for the film. Jodie Foster was originally cast as Helen Tasker, but was forced to turn the role down because she was signed on to star in Nell. Demi Moore, Michelle Pfeiffer, Sharon Stone and Sandra Bullock were also all considered for the role of Helen. The film almost happened without Jamie Lee Curtis entirely. However, Jamie Lee Curtis was 36 at the time of filming the movie. And now, she is 63 years old. Jamie Lee Curtis called the film, The greatest experience of my professional life. Do you remember the moment where Jamie Lee Curtis Helen falls during her striptease dance? That was actually an unplanned accident that Cameron kept in the final version. That's why Schwarzenegger briefly sits up in surprise when Curtis falls. That is actually Jamie Lee Curtis performing the scene, and she did it without anything resembling a rehearsal or previously arranged choreography beforehand. She said, it was a powerful experience that nobody else could take credit for, it was just me, the music, three cameras, and approximately 100 dudes. Jamie Lee Curtis performed the helicopter rescue scene herself. At her insistence, Director James Cameron agreed to let her perform this scary spectacle. Jamie Lee Curtis is an actress and author. Although she was initially known as a scream queen because of her starring roles in many horror films. Her movie career took off after her debut film role in 1978's horror cult classic Halloween. Beyond acting, Curtis also has a prolific writing career. She has authored 13 popular children's books. She is the recipient of several accolades, including two Golden Globe Awards, a British Academy Film Award, and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Arnold Schwarzenegger was 47 at the time of filming the movie. And now, he is 74 years old. Arnold Schwarzenegger has played Harry Tasker, a fearless terrorist battling secret agent whose life is turned upside down when he discovers his wife might be having an affair with a used car salesman while terrorists smuggle nuclear warheads into the United States. Schwarzenegger's biggest challenge for the movie was not doing all the physical stunts, but dancing a tango. He had to take dancing lessons to realistically perform the dance. He spent six months training for the tango dancing scene. Schwarzenegger said he used Al Pacino's performance in Sen of a Woman as his inspiration. He rose to fame as the world's top bodybuilder, launching a career that would make him a giant Hollywood star via films like Conan the Barbarian, The Terminator, and Total Recall. After years of blockbuster movie roles, Schwarzenegger went into politics, becoming governor of California in 2003. His arguably most iconic and famous role was in Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Schwarzenegger himself has never been nominated for an Oscar, but won a Golden Globe in 1977 and was nominated for a second in 1995. 
Tom Arnold was 35 at the time of filming the movie. And now, he is 63 years old. Tom Arnold is an actor and comedian. He got his big film break in the film True Lies, playing the comic sidekick to Arnold Schwarzenegger's secret agent as they pursue the agent's adventure-seeking wife. As Arnold told, he owes it all to the film's director James Cameron. He became famous when he married Roseanne Barr in 1990, another comedian and star of the popular sitcom Roseanne, who he divorced in 1994. Tom Arnold has amassed over 150 movie and TV credits in his 30-year career. Tom Arnold has beaten skin cancer multiple times, has survived alcoholism and addiction along with many other life-threatening injuries. And now he's living a more conscientious life as a proud dad of two kids. Tia Carrere was 27 at the time of filming the movie. And now, she is 55 years old. Tia Carrere has played Juno Skinner, who is the secondary antagonist of the film True Lies. She was a beautiful, determined, and tenacious yet warped, greedy, amoral, chaotic, bloodthirsty, violent, and dangerous woman with a very sadistic side to her. Tia Carrere, like so many actors, spent her early career bouncing from gig to gig. Though she landed a recurring role on the soap opera General Hospital in the 80s, the first big movie that most everyone knows the actress from is 1992's Wayne's World. By the end of the 90s, Carrere had excelled at comedy and she'd crushed it in crime dramas, but if there's one thing that every Disney kid knows Carrere for, it's her role as the voice of Nani in the absolute classic animated film Lilo and Stitch. Bill Paxton was 39 at the time of filming the movie. The movie character Simon played by Bill Paxton in one of the best action-adventure film True Lies. A sleazy car salesman posing as a spy to try and seduce Helen. When Harry finds out, he scares Simon off the way only a real spy can. Paxton completely stole True Lies with only 10 minutes of screen time. This wasn't his first film with Schwarzenegger. The actor had a minor role as a punk in The Terminator way back in 1984, and he played an intercept officer in Commando in 1985. William Paxton was an actor, filmmaker, and musician. He appeared in films such as Weird Science, Near Dark, Aliens, Tombstone, Apollo 13, Twister, Titanic and A Simple Plan. What changed his career permanently and launched him on a path of success was his role in the miniseries, Hatfields and McCoys, which earned him his first Emmy Award nomination. This popular American actor came to be known as Wild Bill for his sense of humor and for his extravagant tricks. The unexpected death of Bill Paxton at 61 due to complications from surgery, left millions of fans of the beloved actor stunned and saddened. Art Malik was 42 at the time of filming the movie. And now, he is 69 years old. Art Malik has played Islamic extremist Salim Abu Aziz the leader of a Palestinian terrorist organization that Harry is trying to capture throughout the film. He is a Pakistani-born British actor who achieved international fame in the 1980s through his starring and subsidiary roles in assorted British and Merchant Ivory television serials and films. He is especially remembered for his portrayal of the out-of-place Hari Kumar in The Jewel and the Crown at the outset of his career. He's appeared in the films The Wolfman, Sex and the City 2, and John Carter, and currently stars on the long-running and very popular European series Borgia. Thanks for watching. For more such videos please subscribe to our channel.